Aiki, Nanisui Phil Abbas Jr. from the Nikiawi Tua Kaduk Travel TANF program, Cultural Activities. Hey, so this is a short video of some grammatical components and breakdowns for the early part of the Awaha uh, vocabulary. Jimmy. Here we have basic prefixes for verbs. Uh, now, a special note, these are the simplest and most basic forms. There are additional prefixes and suffixes that are critical in speaking fluently. However, for beginning and intermediate learners, these are a great starting point to help develop an understanding of who is being spoken to or about in Kaduk conversational language. So we have ni, i, e, u, singular, ki, u, plural. That's a command form, which is specific to telling multiple people that you'd like them to do something. Ku, which is a plural form for you all. U, which is he, she, or it, singular, and kun, which is they. So there are others that there are there are other prefixes and prefixes with suffixes that help identify who you're talking to or who you are talking about. But this is a great way to start, and this is the most common for what I have experienced most people speak to or about. So now we'll break it down. Jimmy. The Abahivikhrika. Abaha. Noun. Food. Av. Am. Verb. To eat. Fati Awish. Fati Awish. Fat. E. Av. Am. Ish. What. You singular. Eat. Future tense. What will you eat? Fati Avish. Then we have Huni Avish. Huni Avish. Hun ni av am ish. Acorn mush. I eat future tense. I will eat acorns. Huni Avish. Fati amti. Fati amti. Fat. T, which is a perfective, helping you to say or signify now. E, U, singular. Of, um, eat. T, present tense. What are you eating? Fati amti. Huntani amti. Huntani amti. Hun. Ta, which is that perfective, ni, I, of, um, eat, t, present tense. I'm eating acorns. Huntani amti. Huntani amti. So that perfective can be a T or a TA or sometimes a TAH. And the ending can be a hitti, witti, itti. There are a lot of variations. I'm keeping it simple and specific to the ones that we're working on right now. So... Uh, keep that in mind and um, take it one phrase, one component at a time, and just keep doing your best. Fat ipi avat. Fat ipi avat. Fat ip at is a past tense, specifically meaning that it's already done. It has happened and it's no longer continuing to happen. E singular av um. Fat ipni avat. What did you eat? Hun ipni avat. Hun ipni avat. Hun ipat ni av am. Acorn mush past tense. I eat. I ate acorns. Hun ipni avat. So, by would go or pechurka. So here's the whole sheet. And um, you can use this. Like I said, this is just one perspective. This is not the only or most correct or best way to speak Kaduk. For me, this is what I used, how I learned, and what is most common for me in my experiences. So um, do with it what you can and um, use the terms, apply the grammatical components, and. Uh,